Arise is an ML observability platform to help ML teams automatically surface issues, understand and resolve what occurred, and ultimately help you improve your model's performance. When you log into the platform, you get a quick high-level overview of all the models you have in production, as well as any performance, drift, or data quality issues. Let's dive into our demo fraud model. Our overview page gives a single glass pane where you can identify any health issues for your model. Arise automatically discovers your model's schema and starts tracking key performance metrics, things like cardinality, percent empty, drift, and quantiles. We can do this because not only do we support your production data sets, we also support your validation and training data sets. These can be configured to be your baselines or benchmarks to compare against things like a moving time window or a fixed time range. These baselines drive our monitoring. Arise automatically starts monitoring all your features as well as outputs for your model. These are created with default thresholds, but can be configured based on your business needs. Monitoring is only part of the story. We need to understand why our model is behaving the way it is. From here, we can dive into our drift view. Our drift view allows us to see how far off from the distribution of our baseline our outputs really are. From here, we can see I'm predicting a lot more fraud than my expected distribution. But why? If I scroll down, I can have another view, my feature drift view. This indicates what features within my model are the most important and which ones are driving my drift. Here I can see the purpose is by far the most important feature. So let's dig in a little bit further. The next step is looking at a temporal view of my feature. In this case, I can see over time how far off my purpose feature is from my base distribution. In this case, my training data set. Clearly, I have some discongruences here. I should probably train my model again with this new data set. So how do we get there? Well, Arise also allows you to create dashboards. These are freeform dashboards that allow you to look and understand your model in a way that makes sense for your own business. I'm going to select all features and have fraud be my positive class. Once these are created, I get tons of widgets which indicate overall volume, overall metrics for my model, things like distribution and how they differ from my baseline and what I'm actually observing, as well as overall metrics for my model. These, we can apply filters to them. So I'm going to apply a filter for only the state of California. You can see the specificity as well as recall have changed. From here, I can actually take a look at all of my features and all of my features values. This will allow me to understand where within my features my model is performing poorly. Again, I will choose all my features. My metric in this case is accuracy. If I reset my filters, I can see that accuracy actually went up, meaning, okay, there is somewhere in my data where there are slices of features that need to be trained. So let's go find it. Here from the legend, you can quickly see that red is bad and yellow is good. Scrolling down, I can see low FICO scores correspond with low accuracy for my models. Now what? Well, from here, I can quickly export my data, which would then be available for me on my data training pipeline. Ultimately, Arise helps you navigate through your entire troubleshooting workflow have different views for different stakeholders, as well as provide actionable items for you to retrain and improve your model. Furthermore, once you have the data that you want to train your new model on, and you're ready to compare your new model against your old model, we have templates for that as well. Ultimately, our goal is to help you root cause your issues and give you actionable items in order to resolve any issues you may encounter on your training as well as in your model pipeline.